I've only gone and received another job lock mystery box. Let's open it up. So that's right, the wonderful people at the Job Lock Comics have sent me another mystery box, but for a good cause. I don't know if you've seen on my channel before, but uh, I'm now doing uh, monthly charity like payday auctions uh, and they're live on YouTube and you can see them on the channel. Um, and basically, uh, Job Lock Comics liked my uh, first one so much they wanted to get involved and they wanted to donate some books. So I said just to say thanks, I would make a video, open up, open up their box and uh, value it all as I usually do and uh, and then all these books would be put on for the auction. So consider this a little preview if you're um, interested in joining the auction. So I haven't received the normal box uh, from Job Lock Comics. They actually sent me over one of their executive uh, mystery boxes and these are more pricey but you get a little bit cooler stuff you get some cooler stuff going there so uh, these cost um 25 pounds altogether but i've got it right here at the moment on this date so it's the 28th of may um there is only one left on their website right now joblotcomics.co.uk uh, and i'm just reading here so uh, along with um no sorry okay so you get 15 marvel and dc books um but uh they also guarantee one uh, DC cardstock variant cover, a bronze or copper age comic, copper age, um, an exclusive uh, variant never before available in their boxes, which will either be Venom, Marvel's X or Ghost Rider. Um, there'll be another standard variant cover, uh, an issue one from DC or Marvel, uh, an acetate cover, or Acetate, acetate, that's the word, an acetate cover. Um, and yeah, and that's it. And then, so yeah, every box will have all of the above plus another nine comics. Okay, so they have, they'll guarantee those six things and nine more comics to make up a 15 book mystery box. That sounds really cool. Sorry, this is a bit, a bit tricky to open this one. It's my, it's my fault, it's not theirs. Come on, oh, there. Here we go, here we go. Right, so, let's open up. So yeah, at the time of this, they have uh, 10, sorry. Um, okay, yeah, so they have 10 boxes available. There's one left of this executive box right now on their website, joblockcomics.co.uk. Um, the only reason I stopped then was because uh, I smiled and uh, <laughs> because they've done me a little drawing. So yeah, so there it says, hey, Scott, uh, here's a cool job lot of variants and issue ones that should auction well. Good luck. Uh, maybe this is me. Is this me? Maybe it's not because why would I hi say hi to myself? Guys, if job lot guys, if you're watching this, is this me? If not, if this is one of you guys, then let me know. This is this is great. I, uh, you know, the guys at job lot, they're fantastic. Um, and again, they've got another little, you know, little business business leaflet kind of thing there. It's really cool. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got a nice, lovely stack of books here. Here they are. Wow, look at that. Whoa, there's some I want here. I can't, they're gonna have to go to auction. I can't keep any of these, man. Okay, right. So I'll show you these and then I'm gonna go ahead and value them afterwards, okay? So first up, we've got four, Issue one, and it's the God of Thunder. Is it the God of Thunder Reborn? It says down here. First print. That's nice. That cover is so cool. I love the the motion, but he's swinging the hammer. But you can see it's like a mace, uh, Mjolnir there. There's a, there's a there's an axe kind of version. That is very cool. And you can see there's some other different coloured ones. There's a purple one, a blue one, but it doesn't fall up great. That's cool. So that's the first one. Issue number one there. Legacy issue uh, 707, if anyone is interested. Uh, another issue one. There's going to be a lot. Of, I can tell a lot of issue ones here. This is going to be great. Okay, Daredevil. Daredevil issue one. Legacy cover 613. Uh, another another cover A there. That is nice. Who's this by? Is this by? Yeah, Chip Zdarsky. Great writer. That's good. Next 
Savage Avengers or Savage, if uh, if people, some of you like saying it that way. Uh, another issue one. I don't know the writer. Duggan Dugan. Someone let me know. Uh, yeah, another another cover right there. So who's on there? Venom, Punisher, Wolverine, um, uh, Electra. And these two guys, I don't actually know who they are. So I'll just put that there. Let me know in the comments who they are. Marvel's X issue one. This is uh, one of the guarantees, I think. And this is, well, no, this is, it says an exclusive variant never before. So this isn't a variant, this is a cover A. So maybe this isn't it then. But uh, yeah, that's there. Marvel's X issue one. Okay, Punchline, issue one. This is the Forbidden Planet exclusive. I know these guys like to shop at Forbidden Planet a lot, so uh, it's it's cool to see that they're getting some exclusives from there as well. Yeah, so this is a variant. This is like the sixth, the sixth cover maybe. Yeah, there we go. Punchline, Virgin cover there. A lot of I know there are a lot of Punchline fans out there. Now the reason I went oh cool before I showed you that one was because I saw this one. The Uncanny 3D X-Men. Look at that. That's another issue one there. Who, who's on the front? So uh, we've got Captain America, uh, Black Widow, and yeah, you can just see Wolverine there. Let me try and... I can't move the glasses. There's Wolverine there as well, just under. But look at that. You could win this. You could buy this for the auction, for the Cancer Research UK uh, auction. It says Wolverine, Captain America, Black Widow together again for the first time. Doesn't sound right. But yeah, that's that. This is Defenders, the best defense, issue one. Uh, this, this, this is uh, one of those Stanley Memorial uh, little banners at the top there. That's quite nice. Uh, another cover A. It's nice, Doctor Strange on there, Namor. Um, Silver Surfer, Hulk. Is that Hulk? It looks, it looks hulky. Uh, yeah, so that's that. That's nice. Marvel Zombies Resurrection, number one. Uh, I know that um, Stormcore Collectibles loves his Marvel Zombie stuff, so I think he'll have his eye on this. Look at that cover. It's like a zombie Galactus chasing, well, grabbing after Spider-Man. That's cool. Wow. Superman Giant, issue one. This is great. In a bag as well. And boarded. Bag and boarded. This is great. Look at that. I don't I don't know much about Superman, so um oh it says there against the might of Parasite. So I'm I'm assuming this guy is Parasite here. But that is cool. A hundred pages, I think. Yeah, it yeah, says a hundred page Superman giant issue from DC. Uh four action packed stories. That looks great. DC Comics, uh one uh, I said DC Comics. Uh, Detective Comics. 1023 here. Look at that. Who's Batman kicking at? Kicking. That's cool though. That's a nice variant cover. It looks like a Lieber Mayho cover. Um, can't, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. It looks like Lieber, May, Lieber Mayho. Uh, nice. That is nice. That's cool. We have got Justice League Dark 14. Is that Man Bat? Man Bat? Or like Morbius gone a bit gone a bit mental. That's cool though. Got some horror fan, uh, horror books, horror-ish covers for some horror fans. I know I know there was some at the last auction. Uh Deathstroke 45, another issue, part of the uh Year of the Villain stuff. That's a cool that's nice. The art on this stuff is absolutely brilliant. This is a Finch cover. That's lovely. Bagged as well. Oh my god. This is one I'm after as well. The Sea Step Planet issue one. Gonna have to sell this. This this is this is the thing, that you get sent the mystery box to do this for, for, for the auction for a good cause. And then you go like, ah, oh, I, I want this. I want to keep it. I'm not going to keep it, obviously. It's going to be up for sale. So come and grab it. Deceased, they've just released the hardcover um, collections of the Deceased Dead Planet stuff. Um, well, not, maybe not Dead Planet, but there are Deceased hardcovers coming out. 
and I've just been released, but that's nice. Cover A there. That's awesome. Uh, we've got two left. Uh, we've got X-Men um, Extended Cut, one of two. I've not heard of this one. It says, God loves, man kills. Great cover. Looks old. Looks really cool. Nice. And then the final one, which is one that I actually kind of kind of want. It's um, Tales from the Dark Multiverse uh, Infinite Crisis. Um, I have two of these Dark Multiverse books. I've got the Flashpoint one and I've got the Crisis on Infinite Earths one. So this would be really cool to add to my collection. But it's not. It's getting sold. It's, it, it is bigger. It's like, I think this is like a 48 page book. Um, it's a, this is a $5.99 dollar issue and it's, it's actually got a little spine there. Um, you can't see. Um, but yeah, it's got a spine there with a title down the side as well. Um, but that's it so far. So let's go ahead and see how much these are worth. So we are done, we've looked into all of these books and how much they're worth and are they worth more than the £25 that this box is worth? Let's find out. Okay, so the first one uh, we have got for number one, Legacy cover, uh, Legacy issue 707, this is the God of the Thunder, God of Thunder Reborn. Uh, this is worth £2. Next. Daredevil number one, Legacy uh, 613 by Chip Sadarsky. Uh, this one is worth four pounds. Then we got Savage Avengers number one coming in at three pound fifty. Maybe they are already. No, they're not. Uh, Marvel's X number one. It's kind of a cardstock uh, cover um, by Alex Ross. Marvel's X number one. Uh, this is four pounds. Punchline number one, the Forbidden Planet exclusive, done by Brian Bolland. Uh, this is five pounds at the moment. And we've got the 3D, uh, the Uncanny 3D X-Men number one. This uh, I did mention earlier. This is still sealed. This is totally sealed uh, with the 3D glasses, not used at all. Uh, this is uh, worth eight pounds at the moment. Uh, Defenders, the best defense issue one with the Stanley uh, Memorial banner at the top there. Uh, four pounds for this. Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one, uh, also four pounds. Superman Giant number one, uh, massive four stories in here, but only coming in at about two pounds. Then we've got Detective Comics 1023. This, I was right, this is the Lee Bermejo cover. Uh, and it's a cardstock as well. A little cardstock cover there. Uh, this is also £2. Uh, Justice League Dark 14. Uh, this has come in. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, this is the Clayton Crane uh, variant. Uh, very nice. Um, and yeah, £3.50 for this. This is the Deathstroke 45, uh, another cardstock uh, uh, cover here, uh, by, uh, and the cover is done by Finch. This is the Finch cover, uh, and this has come in just at 195. Deceased Dead Planet number one, the one that I want, um, 499. So let's just say 500. And we've got, uh, so this was X-Men, God Loves, Man Kills, issue one of two, with the extended cut. Uh, we are looking at £3.20 for this. And then finally, this beefy issue here, uh, the Tales of the Dark Multiverse in Infinite Crisis, uh, just £3 for this. That's how much that's going for. So, in total, we have come in at just over... £55 for this stack of 15 books. Uh, yep, yeah, they cost £25 to buy uh, one of these boxes from Joblog Comics. 
and um, and yeah, I've got £55 worth of stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. But like I said earlier, this all of these books are going to be featuring on the next auction and um, some of the other books that uh, that Job Lot sent me in the other mystery unboxing I did. So we'll have all of these. So there's 15 here, and they sent me another 15 uh, a few months ago, and some of them will be appearing as well. So do keep an eye out for all of these. Do join us. For the um, for the auction, if you are interested in any of these books, and you can you can buy them, and it's all all going to the cancer research research UK. None of it is going to me. It's all going to the charity. So come on, join in, buy some comics for a good cause. Your wife can't shout me then, can she? Because it's all for a good cause. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Like please please come down. Um, this was really fun. Thanks guys at Job Lot Comics. This has been another fantastic box. And I can't wait. To get another one. Thanks so much. This has been me. These have been the shelves. I didn't even say I'm Scott. These are the shelves. And do go ahead and look at the rest of my channel. Please subscribe, like, share the video, and all that shabang. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.